What's up everybody? This video's main purpose is to show you guys how to fix an issue with Elite Dangerous uh, on the Xbox One. I'm not sure if this works for any other consoles or anything else, but I played on the Xbox One and uh, ever since the Commander's update came out, this issue has come up. Uh, it happened to a friend of mine's first and he was able to resolve the issue uh, thanks to some input from another one of his friends that also plays Elite Dangerous. Uh, this happened to me twice. So this is the second time. So I decided, you know what, I'm pretty sure people are going to run into this issue. They're going to get on YouTube. They're going to look for a solution, a fix. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to help you guys out because this really sucks. And it happens, you know, so... How this happened was one of my friends, he tried to invite me to, you know, multi crew on his ship. And uh, my experience, I ended up seeing a black screen, but on his screen, it kept saying that I was connecting, but I never did connect. So, you know, waited a while, the screen just still stayed black. So I quit out the game, started back up, and this is what happens. Okay, so when you get back to the game, you try to hit start. You try to join open or solo play, and this is what happens. It doesn't load you into the game. You're stuck seeing this screen, and the screen does not go away. I don't care how long you wait, you will be stuck on the screen. So, the fix to this solution. First off, go to your game. Quit your game. Then go to manage your game. Then go down to your save data. Now this is your save data for Elite Dangerous. Now what you're going to do, you're going to delete your save data. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would I delete my save data? I'm going to lose all my ships, all my progress. No, you're not going to lose your ships, none of your progress. But you will, if you have custom key binds for your controls, you will have to redo those all over. So you have to go to delete your save data, and you have to go to delete everywhere. Now your save data for Elite is saved onto their servers. So when you delete it from your console, you're just deleting it from your console because it's sort of like your data is corrupt. So once you start back Elite, it'll sync your data back up. Everything's good to go. So you just go to delete everywhere and you allow your data to delete and it's gone. Now you just go back, start back up elite. Give it a minute. All right, now the sinking data for the dangerous. Just wait for it to log in. And now just wait for it to connect to the servers. And let's try to join the game again. Now the game is now loading. And there you have it, back playing Elite. Now, you know, this issue can constantly come up. It does have something to do with the multi-crew uh, feature in the Commander's Update. 
hopefully Frontier will, you know, resolve this issue because this is the second time, like I said, this happened to me and it is annoying and frustrating, especially if it happens to you and you don't, you know, know how to fix it, you know, you get very pissed off, just like me. Like, I was raging when it first happened to me. I didn't know what to do, so I made this video, you know, to help you guys out so you guys can get back into your game, be able to play, you know, like you normally would be able to. So I'm in this video right here. I hope this video helps you guys out. If it does, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video around. And if you guys want to see more, you know, hit that subscribe button. I hope this video really helps, you know, you guys out because, uh, I was all over the internet looking for a fix and I couldn't find a fix to this so you know trying to you know put this video out there to help as many people as I can you know I know somebody gonna run into this issue I know I have twice my friend he ran into this issue once so thanks for watching peace people